Hello friends, welcome to today's video. As you can tell from the title, today we are doing a big grocery haul. And I've probably also titled this that it is a plant-based grocery haul. So let me mention a couple of things here at the start. Uh, I don't eat a plant-based diet overall. Uh, I'm not vegan. I was vegetarian for many years, but I don't eat any particular kind of diet now. However, every once in a while I find it interesting to try different recipes, try different foods, and when I was at a cottage a couple of months ago, uh, I picked up a magazine, this Forks Over Knives magazine, and there's a few um, recipes in here I want to try, and this is a whole plant-based thing, so I thought it might be an interesting week to give myself a bit of a shake-up by having some more plant-based recipes. Recipes. Uh, I will mention I know there's a whole documentary that goes along with this and a whole ethos of forks over knives that is very uh, tends to be like low oil low processed foods I don't jive with all that I just thought some of the recipes looked good I'll also mention and this is pretty new very new uh, I've been on the my WW plan for about two years now I want to say maybe longer maybe longer maybe three years coming up on as you guys know, the last year and a half has been a lot of a blur. So I lost 55 pounds on the blue plan. I've gained a little bit during quarantine and I just wanted to give myself a little bit of a kickstart, try something new. So I decided for the next few weeks, I'm at least I'm going to be on the green plan. And that works pretty well with eating some more of these like mock meats, staying away from some of the animal protein. I just wanted to give it a try for a bit. Uh, so in my video later this week where I will do a full day of eating. I will also try to have like green points and blue points just so this is still interesting for people on the blue plan. I feel like that's a lot. Um, I'm going to mention the different recipes that I'm planning on making as I go through this. There is a lot of stuff here. Uh, I've tried to sort of group it into category, but let's get into it. I'm going to start with fruits and veggies. Yeah, let's start there. One of the recipes that I'm going to be making from the Forks Over Knives magazine is a pasta salad type recipe, and it has both pasta in it as well as chopped up cauliflower to sort of bulk up the pasta. So I did get a head of cauliflower. That pasta recipe is also served in lettuce cups, so I picked up some Boston lettuce. I figured this would just also be good to have some greens uh, for little side salads or anything else I want through the week. And I picked up a cucumber just if I want some like cucumber slices on the side of anything that I'm having. I picked up uh, just some flat leaf parsley. I think this both goes into the pasta recipe, but there's also going to be a pineapple coleslaw recipe that I'm going to make, and I think there's some parsley in there as well. I picked up some carrots, just uh, not in any particular recipe, but I like having these sort of uh, as carrot sticks on the side of another meal, or it works really well if you sort of shred it into carrot ribbons to have it as like a replacement noodle if I'm doing, I don't know, some kind of stir fry. The pasta salad that I'm making has celery in it. This is a huge bunch of celery, so this will also be good for celery sticks on the side of other meals. Always good to have lots of zero point fruits and veggies to sort of bulk up whatever you're having. And veggies are really good for fiber and being filling. Picked up a couple of bananas just because I wanted uh, some fruit on hand. I also have some green apples already in the fridge. Those are just sort of bonus fruits for snacking on through the week. I picked up a few sweet potatoes. The breakfast recipe that I'm going to try that I'm so excited about trying is a half a baked sweet potato with some almond butter and toasted oats and berries and maple syrup and it just sounds like sweet and delicious. So I'm looking forward to it and I picked up some sweet potatoes for that. For the coleslaw that I'm making, I picked up a head of cabbage and also for the coleslaw, a red onion. On my channel, the recipe that I reference most often is my favorite black bean chili. It is already a plant-based vegetarian vegan recipe. Uh, so I thought I would make some of that. It freezes super well, so I like having it on hand. Uh, so I picked up an onion for that, as well as some peppers for the chili. I think that's it for veggies. Some others may pop up along the way. I guess moving on to sort of the next categories of more shelf items, or I guess how about some plant-based protein type things? I picked up some soft tofu. I've not used this before, but this is used in the coleslaw. It is used to make a plant-based um, and higher protein mayonnaise replacement. And I also just picked up some extra firm tofu because I like to be able to press this and do it in cubes and put it in the air fryer. It's really nice just to be able to have um, some marinated tofu crisped up for some protein and I like the taste of it. I also picked up and I have no idea what this is going to be like, but this is an oat yogurt alternative. This is called Yotes, 
When I do have my chili, I do like to put on usually some fat-free Greek yogurt, uh, just plain as sort of a sour cream replacement because I am trying to be more plant-based this week. I'm curious about this to see what it's like. I have no idea what the texture or taste is going to be like, but I thought it might be a good replacement in the chili. And then I have a couple containers of almond milk here, and there's a reason I have two. Uh, this one is just unsweetened almond milk um, that's just plain. And in a couple of the recipes, I think both the coleslaw and definitely the pasta salad, uh, it calls for a little bit of some kind of plant-based milk to like thin out the recipe uh, or to use in there so I picked up this and then I've been enjoying having the unsweetened vanilla uh, almond milk in my coffees in the morning because if you use a half cup of this it is zero points uh, it's not quite as good as 2% milk that is my favorite but considering that it's zero points and it is like plant-based um, I thought I would pick up another one of these and it does seem to last a fair amount of time in the fridge I don't know it says best before November 7th and I can't find anywhere on here and I don't really want to look that hard I can't find anywhere on here where it says you need to use it within a certain number of days so I have one that I've been using for a while and it still seems to taste okay so if anything it's nice backup to have in the fridge for my coffee and I also just picked up some hummus because I thought it would be good to have on hand to dip veggies into we'll get into the pantry items next and then finish with the frozen items there's quite a few of those I did get a couple of cans of pineapple just in its own juice the coleslaw that I'm going to be making is a pineapple coleslaw so uh, I think it only uses a cup but I wasn't sure if I was going to want to make the recipe again because I have plenty of the other ingredients for it and either way I do like pineapple I usually like the fresh pineapple but I just wanted to save a little bit of money and be able to have it be shelf stable so I picked up canned pineapple I mentioned that the breakfast sweet potato uh, recipe that I'm going to make has almond butter in it so I picked up some almond butter I do in my fridge also have like PB fit which I do really enjoy uh, but the recipe called for this and it is really delicious so I thought I would pick some of it up I actually thought I was getting this for like seven dollars and I thought it was a great deal uh, and then when I looked at my receipt when I got home I think this was twelve dollars which is more in line with what I would expect for almond butter I thought I was kind of getting a crazy good deal on it uh, but it's a little disappointing when I thought I was getting it for like half the price and I wasn't but I got some almond butter I have here just some raw cashews the uh, pasta salad is made by soaking cashews and then blending them that's how you get sort of the creamier sauce that is still plant-based and has like some protein in it for the pasta salad so I picked these up and I also picked up uh, from Bulk Barn here in Canada because I couldn't find it in I went to Walmart and Farm Boy to pick up these groceries and I couldn't find this in either uh, but this is nutritional yeast so it is sort of a cheesy kind of flavor replacement in some vegan meals and I believe it's the pasta salad that calls for this I probably got more than I need overall uh, but I wanted to pick some up so if it goes into future recipes I have some available the breakfast recipe that I'm going to make also includes hemp hearts uh, this is a pretty good source of protein and omegas that's also vegan I picked this up at Walmart and then I went to farm boy and discovered I could have gotten like a small bag of this for less so I guess I'm gonna be eating a lot of hemp hearts I also picked up some oatmeal just large flake oats I do enjoy having oatmeal from time to time and this goes into a few recipes it's in the breakfast recipe this week uh, so I just picked some up the pasta salad needs pasta so I picked up this fusilli it actually called for whole wheat rotini but because I went grocery shopping like just after the long weekend for some reason all the whole wheat pasta was like sold out uh, but I did check and I think this only adds like two points to the entire recipe so I don't even think it's going to add any points per serving when I average it out over like the four servings that this makes I am a coffee drinker but I do put a sweetener and milk and everything into my coffee so I'm not super picky about my coffee sometimes I'll buy a nice bag and I do have a coffee grinder and I'll grind my own sometimes I will just pick up great value dark roast and have that on hand because it is inexpensive and it gets the caffeine into me for my black bean chili I do use some crushed tomatoes in that as well as some tomato paste and I use three cans I won't hold them all up but I use three cans of black beans in it I also picked up some corn tortillas uh, these ones I think are three points for two of them uh, my thought with this is that 
because I'm having that coleslaw as sort of a meal that I could make it with a couple of taco shells and have it as like a uh, pineapple coleslaw taco wrap. Uh, and these also keep for a really long time and they're nice and low point. I think I could also make these into some pretty nice tortilla chips in the air fryer, uh, so I picked up some of these. Now let's get into frozen food, of which there is a fair bit. The breakfast that I'm making calls for fruit in it, and fresh fruit is great, but uh, I always have an issue with eating it before it goes bad, and it's also a little expensive, so I picked up some four berry blend, uh, because I can use a little bit of this and thaw it out and use it for the breakfast, but then I can also use it in yogurt or a snack or just fruit to have on hand. I picked up two bags of the Gardein Crispy Tenders. Uh, these I think are like one point per strip, I'll have to check, they might be more than that. But I wanted to have these on hand in the freezer because pairing these with some veggies and some kind of sauce on top is a really nice easy lunch or dinner. And along the same lines as that, I also picked up these Boca veggie chicken nuggets just because I hadn't tried them before. Actually, I think these are the ones that are one point per nugget. The tenders are a little bit more because they're bigger. Uh, I hadn't tried these before, so I thought I would try them and see how they are. Also, just to have some fruit on hand in the freezer, I picked up a whole bag of blueberries because I think these freeze really nicely and are just super delicious. The pasta salad recipe calls for green peas, so I got some green peas. And then everything else here are just frozen veggies to have on hand in the freezer because it makes it really easy to roast it up and have it beside some of like the mock meat. So I picked up some broccoli florets some green beans, and also just a carrot and green bean mix. The freezer section was pretty picked over for veggies. I would have preferred to have gotten like some large bags of broccoli, but this is what I could get, so this is what I got. So that is everything. It was a pretty big grocery haul. I hadn't done grocery shopping in a while and I really wanted to do some meal prep and have some really good food on hand. Uh, in the next couple of days, probably two days from now, I should have out my what I eat in a day uh, where I will actually share the recipes that I'm making, let you know how they taste, let you know if I would recommend them or not. Uh, please let me know down below uh, if you like this kind of grocery haul. If you are plant-based, vegan, or vegetarian, or on any kind of sp specific diet, and are also on the Weight Watchers plan. Uh, and also, if you like this kind of content, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!